Welcome everybody to my video about in how many dimensions we live in and uh, if you watched the last video about dimensions we can have stopped saying that life takes place in the now but it's pretty easy to say that life takes place in the now but it's not easy to understand and not easy to explain so let's go from there the good thing about it is that there is an answer it just depends on who is asking. Are you asking from you as in your mind? Or are you asking from you as in what you really are? So first of all, you are not your mind. And if that comes a bit sudden, then you might think about it for a bit. But what you are is a pure consciousness. We all are that, we all the same. The mind is only a tool that we started to identify with over time and evolution. So asking from the mind will never give you the truth and you will see that for example time exists only for the mind. So let's ask the question about in how many dimensions we live in from that what we really are which is consciousness. And maybe you know it under a different word. Uh, this is really a word that is supposed to describe but it's not describable. So we could also say awareness, presence, information, energy, the unmanifested, unity, oneness or being. And I'd like to stick with being for now. We all are and we are in time and space. So, what's the story about time? Time is truly eternity. Because you see, the future is only a thought in the now, and the past is only a memory in the now. And now uh, we can ask the question, well, what about an old photo or um, a planted tree? I mean, everything has changed. So, I would say time has passed, hasn't it? The answer is, for the mind, you say, yes. Uh, two different nows create the illusion of time. But for consciousness and being what we really are, you are unchanged. So, a photo is taken in the now, and it's looked at again in the now. You are that which is without change, watching the change. This watcher that we're talking about lives in eternity and it's important to know that eternity is not time without end, but just plainly without time. Next, what is the story about space? Space is truly infinity and uh, I'd like to quote from a book the power of now from Eckhart Tolle. Just as no sound can exist without silence, nothing can exist without no thing, without the empty space that enables it to be. Every physical object or body has to come out of nothing and is surrounded by nothing and will eventually return to nothing. Not only that, but even inside every physical body there is far more nothing than something. And he says, space has no existence, but it enables everything else to exist. The same with silence has no existence either. So this infinity that we live in doesn't mean that it's space without borders, but it means without space. Imagining that, so uh, without time or without space, is quite complicated and here's a quote that makes it a little bit more easy to understand. It's from uh, the book Everything Forever from Gavin Giobran. So he says, someone who is blind for example doesn't see black or darkness because even if they did temporarily upon initially going blind, the black quickly loses meaning for them because it's just one color without differentiation. The mind interprets such a world as perceptual nothing. And in fact, the mind is correct because this is the real nothing that exists in physical reality. Okay, so going back, we are beings 
and we live in eternity and infinity and eternity again is without time and infinity is without space. If you ask how many dimensions is eternity, it's only a point, it's zero dimensions. And if you ask how many dimensions is infinity, it's also a point, zero dimensions. We as in what we really are, live in zero dimensions. And uh, we can translate this a little bit into uh, more everyday language, which is we live in the now and the here. Think about it and uh, don't stop thinking because the question about in how many dimensions our mind and body live in has still to be answered. There is more to come, at least I hope, so keep your eyes open and thank you for watching.